In this video, I'm gonna show you how to dispose of a balloon garland just like this without giving yourself a heart attack. Hey guys, what's up? It is Rachel here with Bubbly Balloon Go. Just wanted to do a super quick video for you on a couple of methods that I personally use to dispose of balloon garlands because I was super scared of popping balloons when I first started this business. And um, I found a couple things that made it easier for me along the way. So I thought I'd share them with anyone else who doesn't love the sound of popping balloons. Okay, a couple things I wanna tell you. First of all, the longer your balloon garland goes, the older it is, the squishier, softer, and like more wilted your balloons are, the least they're going to pop. Does that make sense? Like the older and softer and squishier they are, the less pop there is. Like if you have some really fresh balloons, like maybe the client only wanted the garland up for the duration of the party, now it's over, you're going back for breakdown, I will show you a different method for how to do that. But when you're doing an old garland, like this guy's been up for three months, some of these are really well at this point I got a secret it's actually not scary to pop them I don't just like stab it like Dexter I'm not like shh, 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 shh. you know I um, use my scissors and I gently like nip it as I get in so here watch this look at that there's no pop left in this thing look at that it's so quiet like it's quieter than if I were chewing bubble gum and popping my own bubbles okay so that's really good for specifically these like soft wilted guys. But again, some of these still have a bit of firmness to them after all this time. So those would make a little more of that snapping loud noise that, uh, you know, scares the bejesus out of us. So I wanna share my second tip for you. And the other method that I use a lot, gosh, I hope you can see this here. Let me try and pull this close up. Okay, so let's see if I can get this. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so the second method I do, and this is what I do with brand new balloons, and if I just don't even wanna risk it, it's not even worth the chance. Can you see this? I get in down by, can you see this? Yeah, I get in there down by the neck and slice at the neck. And I'm telling you, like that is the silent kill. I feel like an assassin when I do this. Look at that. Okay, so, oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> this is not working. Let me... Okay, I broke these off to try and show you. So what I'm going to do is go down to the very neck of the balloon and get as close to the base as possible of where it's tied. Where there's like the least amount of air in there. And just snip. Look at that. It's freaking silent and it's deflated in a second. This is the best method, you guys. I am serious. So like these purple guys, they're still pretty, they're still pretty firm. I think it'd still make a little bit of noise if I just stabbed it. So check this out. <laughs> this neck method is the best, you guys, I'm telling you. Bam. Okay, I'm gonna deflate the rest of this thing. Have fun. Marie Kondo would have me say, thank you for all you've done to serve me these last three months. On to your next life. <laughs> 